Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Today we are reviewing this pen. This is a Franklin Christoph Model 31 Omnis. This is the smoke and ice finish. The smoke and ice. Um, this is uh, my favorite Franklin Christoph model. I'm gonna say that right at the outset. Um, they make a, a really unique range of pens. They have quite a number of pens in their collection as well as a number of other products like notebooks and some other leather products and things like that. But the uh, the pens is sort of what I'm sort of most interested in. And as I said, this is my favorite model that I've used of theirs. Um, yes, yeah, small, you know, small-ish US-based uh, pen manufacturing company. Um, and sort of everything's sort of machined in-house and they use Yovo nibs that are run through a, a you know, nib meister and tuned and all of that sort of stuff. Like they have a standard range of finish uh, finishes available on the pens, um, things like this material and the uh, antique glass is a very popular one uh, plus a range of sort of different uh, colored acrylics but then for pen shows and things they do prototypes so they show a range of different materials and different acrylics and stuff some lovely colors and those are the ones to get your hands on uh, but this is as I said a signature line uh, sort of pen so let's uh, run over the parts and features of the pen we'll uh, do a writing sample specs and all that sort of stuff and then some pros and cons Starting at the top of the pen. So it's got the little logo there, um, the, the little four diamonds and stuff on the top, uh, which is nice. It's a flat top, beveled edges. These beveled sort of edges are a, a typical feature on Franklin Christoph pens. Uh, then we get like a little split in the cap where, and the clip is inserted in there and you can see it's sort of held in with a little screw. Um, and then sort of it's all, uh, you know, basically cylindrical tapers down slightly and then the barrel itself sort of tapers to these three rings which are just a simply a design element uh, and then tapers all the way down and we get this nice block of clear acrylic a beveled edge and a flat bottom around the middle of the pen here it's written i don't know how well it's going to come up on the camera but franklin christoph and then 31. Um, the clip is steel and is sort of fairly stiff but usable uh, and this design holds it in place quite nicely on pockets and things like that and it also, also has the four diamonds laser engraved on the clip. The cap itself, uh, it's a screw cap and it's about one and a half turns uh, and it's sort of, it's all turned and like nice big block threads uh, so it's all very smooth and um, it, no cap liner or anything like that. It's all sort of inbuilt. You can see sort of the layers of the texture in the machining of the inside of the cap there. The barrel unscrews. It's a cartridge converter pen or can be eyedroppered. If you put some silicone grease on these threads and a little O-ring, uh, you can eyedropper this pen. It's got a nice number of very smooth threads there. Uh, and it says cartridge converter. It comes with a cartridge and with a converter, which is really nice. Um, it's all plastic parts, as I said. So like, you can eye drop at this pen very safely. Um, my only concern with any eye dropping of any pen is making sure that you get that seal really good. The section on this uh, is hourglass. So it tapers down and flares out slightly. And then we get a number six Yovo brand, uh, Franklin Christoph branded nib. Uh, and in this pen, it is recessed into the section there. So the housing starts here and go, goes down into the pen. And then the nib is actually under this collar of the section, which um, is an interesting design feature and something I'm going to come back to a little bit later. And it's got a plain plastic feed. The threads on this pen are here on the, they're on the barrel of the pen. Um, that where it meets the section and they're yeah they're nice and smooth and they lock in nicely but there is a tendency with these pens as with a lot of acrylic pens just to come loose ever so slightly uh, it doesn't take a lot to really sort of knock them out so just something to be aware of if you're putting this pen in your pocket for instance um, so that runs down um, the parts and features of the pen um, a little bit about sort of as a different there are different materials available we have to catch them when they're available there's no sort of stock standard colors you just get what they've got in stock and what they're making at the time the nibs is a huge range of nibs i've got this with a broad um but you can get a huge range of steel nibs and for extra cost gold nibs or uh, you can get specific grinds done by a nib meister um, and uh, frank and christoph have things like the sig nib which are uh, specific to their uh, to their company let's uh, show a couple of size comparisons now so here with the Franklin Christoph, this is a Lamy Safari. So you can see for size, not a small pen, 
by any stretch at all. Um, it's about the same length as Lummi Safari, maybe a millimeter or two longer. So a good length pen. And here is another Franklin Christoph model, the number two, uh, which I want to show for um, another reason in just a second, uh, which is a similar sort of size uh, pen. If we just uncap now the uh, Safari um, and the Franklin Christoph, we see that uncapped, they're a pretty similar length pen. Uh, posted, now the Franklin Christoph does post and it's called precision posting. Uh, and I think it's okay. Um, I, I don't tend to post it because it becomes, you know, like a pretty big pen. In the hand, posted, it's huge. Unposted, this pen is a really good size. So it doesn't need to be posted. You've got a good long section on it so you can hold it at anywhere you want to, the threads aren't sharp. So it's a pen that doesn't need to be posted, but it can post. Uh, you just wouldn't want to put it on there too hard in case you crack the material. Now, the reason I wanted to show the Model 2 alongside it was because of how the uh, pen caps. Um, you can see they've got different shape, shape sections and things like that. On the 31, the threads are at the base here, which is a traditional place for the threads on a pen. On the Number two, the threads are at the end of the section. So they actually, so it, thre it, it, it threads in further up, giving it a much tighter seal around the nib. Um, but also, in my opinion, it's not as comfortable a grip to hold. Like this shape grip, I tend to find myself aiming down there and I end up on the threads. Whereas with the Model 31, it's a very, very comfortable section. It's not at all slippery or slick or anything. And it just feels nice in the hand because those threads are further back and you never find yourself on them. But if you do, they're block threads, so they're not sharp at all. Specs for the Franklin Christoph. Uh, un, well, capped, it's around 140 millimeters. Uncapped, around 133, so once again, good size. And posted, it's about 172, which is really long. The section ranges from about 10.5 to 11.5 millimeters, so it's in a very, very comfortable width. Um, and the weight of the pen is 26 grams, or 26.5 grams, 16 in the body, that's inked by the way, 16 in the body, 10.5 in the cap. So even when you do post it, the balance, you do feel the balance on the end there, because a lot of that weight is up here in the, in the top, so it sort of does tend to back weight as well. Um, a very comfortable pen, very well balanced pen, unposted. Let's do a quick writing sample now. Um, I have Clairefontaine paper here. This is the Franklin Christoph. Model 31, the Omnis in smoke and ice. This is a broad steel nib made by Yovo, tuned by Franklin Christoph. Uh, and the ink I have here is Monteverde Rose Noir. So, let's do some writing. Okay, it's very smooth. It is a broad, so you do have more tipping material on the page, which make, makes it a very smooth writer. But there's very little feedback and there's certainly no scratchiness. Reverse writing, it's smooth, but it's very dry and not the sort of a pleasant uh, experience necessarily. Flex-wise, no, just put more ink down. It's a rigid nib. Um, it's not gonna open up for you for flex. Fast writing, this pen has no worries. Like, it's going to keep up with you. If anything, you see that, like, from the beginning of the writing sample, sorry, from the beginning of the writing sample uh, through to the end of the writing sample, it's a, not quite as wet. That's not abnormal. Um, but it never runs dry. Um, I've had a, another Franklin Christoph pen almost run dry to the point where it didn't write. This one, not so much. This is a beautiful, beautiful writing pen. Okay. Let's talk the pros and cons now. Cons. 
I only have one con with this entire pen. One thing I don't like, and that is that the nib is recessed in there. Now, from an aesthetic point of view, I think it's nice to have the nib on display. I understand why they've done that for a nice long section, uh, and it gives a nice shape to the section. So the writing experience with this is nice. Um, but the big issue I have is, as you can see, like there's drops of ink up in there. Now that's not come off the nib, that's from filling. So if you fill this pen as a cartridge converter, uh, like a converter in the bottle of ink, that section has to go in because the breather hole is right up in there. So you are gonna get ink in there and it's actually really hard to clean that out. Like trying to get like paper towel or something in or around the nib. Um, so that is my only real issue with this pen. At this point, let's talk about price. This pen retails for 165 American in its basic form. So as with a plain steel nib, like one of the, you know, run of the mill nibs. 165 for this pen for an acrylic turned pen, which is basically what this is, is about standard. If you look at companies like um, Edison and things like that, this is a price point that a lot of these pens generally come in at. Um, so in, in terms of its place in the market, it sits well. Is that its worth? Well, I don't know. I really enjoy writing with this pen. I like the experience of it. I like the feel of it. Um, I certainly enjoy this more than the Model 2, which costs the same amount. Um, you know, so for me, there is the value in this pen, but it's a steel nib. It's a generally considered like, not mass produced, but like run produced, not custom made or anything like that. Um, and using a, a one of their standard materials. So, which is like very smooth on the outside. The finishing is great and it's got a nice sort of textured, um, you know, if I, you know, nice sort of textured barrel, which, you know, is a nice touch and it looks great. Um, giving that icy sort of, you know, feel to the pen. But 165 is, um, US is actually a fairly decent amount, like a, a fairly high price for a, basic steel nib pen when there are other gold nib pens in this price range. And when you get a gold nib on this pen, it does put the price up considerably. But that is up to you. Like if you, uh, you know, Franklin Christoph make lovely pens and this is a lovely pen. And so I'm happy to have paid this much for this particular pen. What do I love about it? Well, the grip and the size in the hand, like that grip section is lovely. The shape of it, the feel of it, the size of it, and the way this pen fits in my hand and sits in my hand is really nice. It's generous in, you know, it's good weight, it feels balanced and it writes beautifully. The nib is smooth. It's obviously been looked after, you know, um, and it's not too wet. It's never, you know, so wet that it sort of is hard to write on sort of non-fountain pen uh, friendly paper. Another pro is that uh, you can eyedropper this pen. So you can fill up this whole barrel with ink, which will give you a huge ink capacity, and it would look cool as well. I just choose not to eyedropper my pens uh, myself. Um, so it's an in, you know it, it gives you a good ink capacity. You could write for a long time uh, on this on this with this pen with it eyedroppered. Um, it's a reliable pen. It writes first time every time. It doesn't dry out. You know, they've done a lovely job in the machining to make sure that the nib stays wet. The other thing about Franklin Christoph is that they have really good customer care and they put a lifetime warranty on their pens. So they back the quality of their items, which is really, really great to see. And it means you can have confidence as a buyer that uh, your pen is going to be, you know, up to what you need it to be so that you can actually write and have it functioning as, well, let's face it, it's a writing tool, and if it doesn't write, they will look after you. So this was the Franklin Christoph Model 31 Omnis in the smoke and ice finish. I hope you found this video interesting and useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that I produce. Please feel free to get in touch using any of the platforms listed below. You can find me on Instagram or Twitter at the underscore offstage underscore me, or you can contact me on any of my videos here or drop me an email, which is listed down below. If you've got products you think I should be looking at, or if there's a way you'd like to support the channel by sponsoring a review or providing an item for review, I would love to hear from you. It's your support that makes this channel possible. So thank you for watching. Enjoy your pens. Enjoy writing. And I'll talk to you soon.